Hi! In this video, we are going to create a stunning medieval cinematic stone text effect using Adobe Photoshop. Imagine your text engraved in stone, surrounded by an epic fiery glow, perfect for fantasy or historical themes. Here's a quick look at the result we'll achieve. Excited? Let's dive in. To get started, open Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. Give it a descriptive name like Stone Text Effect. Set the dimensions to 2560 by 1440 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch using the RGB color mode at 8-bit with the sRGB color profile. Once everything is set, click Create and we're ready to begin crafting this masterpiece. Add a solid color adjustment layer and set the color to black. Then delete the default background layer. Next, create a new empty layer and set the foreground color to white by pressing D and then X on your keyboard. Go to Filter, Render, Clouds to apply the effect. Convert the layer to a smart object. Then, hold down Control alt shift and drag one of the bottom corners to skew it. To distort both sides simultaneously, hold Control alt and drag, as shown in this example. Alt-drag the handle to enlarge the image and adjust its position to fit the clouds perfectly within the canvas. Once you're satisfied, click the check mark to confirm the changes. Next, change the opacity to 75% and rename the layer to Clouds. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift. Adjust the position of the lines as shown in this example. Set the blur amount to 15 pixels and click OK. Add a gradient fill layer and select the white to transparent preset. Set the style to linear and the scale to 55%. Change the blend mode to soft light and clip it to the clouds layer. Next, add a levels adjustment layer and clip it to the clouds layer as well. Increase the midtones and reduce the shadows intensity to enhance the effect. Then add another Gradient Fill Adjustment layer. Set both the first and second color stops to black. Adjust the second opacity stop to 35%. Change the style to Radial. Check the Reverse option and increase the scale to around 235%. Click OK to confirm and set the layer's opacity to 80%. Add a solid color adjustment layer and set the color to E3A347. Change the blend mode to color and the opacity to 50%. Once done, select all the layers, group them, and name the group background. Now, let's create the text effect. Start by adding a new empty layer. Activate the type tool and select a medieval style font. In this example, I'm using the Sinzel decorative black font at a size of 135 points. Set the anti-aliasing method to crisp, then type your text. Once the text is entered, select All, activate the Move tool, and use the alignment icons to center the text. Then, deselect the selection. Convert the text layer to a smart object. Next, Open the Blending Options dialog box and reduce the fill opacity to zero. Activate the color overlay. Set the color to 8A, 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 and confirm. Ensure the blend mode is set to normal and the opacity to 100%, then click OK. Now search for a stone texture image from your favorite stock image website. For the best results, use a seamless stone texture. Open the image in a new tab and crop the section of the texture you want to use. If you're using a seamless texture, cropping may not be necessary. Once ready, go to Edit, Define Pattern, give it a name, and click OK. Close the tab to return to your document. If you use the Crop tool, activate the Move tool to exit cropping mode. Now add a bevel and emboss style to the text layer. Adjust the settings as shown in this example. Activate the Texture option and apply the stone texture you created in the previous step. 
set the scale to 50% and the depth to plus 400. Click OK to confirm. Next, duplicate the text layer and open the Bevel and Emboss dialog box. Change the technique to Chisel Hard and adjust the remaining settings as shown. Update the color overlay to FDEECA and set the blend mode to color. Deactivate the texture option and click OK. At this stage, the first text layer serves as the base color and texture, while the second text layer adds the chiseled style to the text. Now, duplicate the text layer again. This time, we'll add a shading effect to enhance the text. Open the Layer Styles dialog box, deactivate the Color Overlay and Bevel and Emboss options, then activate the Texture option and use the Stone Texture again to enhance the details. Set the Blend Mode to Overlay, the Opacity to 75%, and the Angle to 0 degrees. Use a smaller scale to give the text a grainier texture, making it resemble engraved stone weathered by time. Next, activate the Gradient Overlay option. Set the Blend Mode to Soft Light, set the Opacity to 75% and use the white to transparent preset. Convert the gradient to transition from transparent to black by adjusting the stops. Set the first opacity stop to 0%. Set the second opacity stop to 100%. Change the second color stop to black. Set the angle to 90 degrees and the scale to 150%. Click OK to confirm your changes. Duplicate the text layer again. This time, we'll add light exposure to the lower part of the text. Deactivate the Gradient Overlay and Pattern Overlay, then activate Bevel and Emboss. Open its dialog box and adjust the settings as shown. Next, activate Inner Shadow. Change the color to FDEC 94. Set the blend mode to linear dodge add and follow the remaining settings. Once you're done, click OK to confirm. Select all the text layers, group them, and name the group text. Now drag your bonfire image onto the canvas and place it above the background group. Change the blend mode to screen and adjust its size and position as needed. Then, drag the Sparks image onto the canvas. Change the blend mode to screen, place it above the text group, and adjust its size and position. If needed, use a hue saturation adjustment layer to modify the flame color, clipping it to the image you want to adjust. Finally, add a gradient adjustment layer at the top. Use the white to black gradient preset, set the style to radial and the scale to around 300%. Click OK, then convert the gradient layer to a smart object. Change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity to 20%. Resize the gradient so the white center aligns perfectly with the bonfire flame area ensuring the top corners fit neatly within the canvas. Once positioned, lock the gradient layer to prevent accidental selection while editing the text or background in future projects. And there you have it. That's how you create a medieval cinematic stone text effect using Adobe Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to share them in the comments section below. Don't forget to support this channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.